Hello, listeners. Let's get into it because we got some news to get into. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't normally get into D-lister news, but this was interesting to me and a lot of people were talking about it on social media. So let's get into it. It's this whole Erica Mena Safari in Amala Na Negra situation. Chow. It's out of pocket and it's on brand for Safari. It's on brand for certain people in this situation, but it's just like, what is going on? Like this, this is a, this is a weird combination. Okay. But then I had to think about it. Cause you know, we found out that love and hip hop is now going to be on MTV. So I'm like, okay, yeah, it makes perfect sense. They're going to do like crazy, stupid, unrealistic storylines like this to stay relevant. But let's get into it, child. You know, I got the, I got my, let me share the screen, child, to talk about what's been going on with this, with Safari Erica Mena. Cause Erica Mena got into it because, you know, she's, she's at the end of the day, that's a mother. And she is seeing her baby father, that her now baby father, cause they got divorced, you know, giving some other kids gifts for their birthday when you ain't gave your actual child anything. Or I, I'll read what she say. <laughs> so let me just read this article from the shade room. Yes, I'm using the shade room child because they, they're very, I like the shade room to, I like their articles, their blogs on here because it's very simple, very simple to read while I'm doing a video. Now it essentially starts off with saying like Safari and Amala and Negra turned heads when they shared a kiss during her twins birthday party. But Safari's former wife and fellow love and hip hop star Erica Mena seemed to care more about what her children, her children's father gave Amara's daughters. Okay. As footage of a birthday party spilled online, Erica stepped into the shade room to react to Safari's stepdad gifts to two. It was two Rolex watches with featuring gold bands and diamonds. What is this man doing? What is this man doing to get, to get two goddamn Rolexes for some damn children? Okay. He doing something. He doing something, child. Cause it ain't music. It ain't entertainment. I don't know what somebody in the comments tell me what the hell Safari be doing, child, to get that. Okay. And Amada, I'm gonna get into Amada uh, real soon, real soon, real quick. Okay. So basically, this is what Erica Mena says. She said, "Oh, so cute. It's just very interesting on how my kids have never received gifts like this by this waste of a man. My daughter just turned three. All she got." was a birthday cake and a few balloons in his living room. And please don't get me started on how he didn't do anything for my son's first birthday until two weeks after the fact. Oh Lord. Child. And again, that was just balloons in his living room, but happy everyone enjoyed this circus theme birthday party with dead beat clown as a special guest. Not a dead beat clown. Child. No, cause Safari is a, he is a goddamn clown. Let's be very clear. But you married that clown and you had like multiple kids with that clown, Erica. You need to, at some point, we got to take some accountability also. You know, he was a deadbeat when you had the first child and then you had the others. And you thought it was going to change. You thought he was going to stay. Like, look at the material. Okay. (laughs) Look, Look what happened. All right. And now he's on to the next. He's on to Amada. And I gotta, I gotta say Amada. Girl, are you dumb? Like, I, I just, if me personally, right, if I knew I was getting into a relationship with somebody and I knew that they had like a past like that, like deadbeat and not being supportive. I mean, we all saw like anyone who saw the the seasons where their the, uh, Erica Mena's and, and Safari's marriage was deteriorating, like we saw him be the problem. He was the bad guy. Like he literally did not give a crap about Erica and arguably their children. What the hell are you doing dating this man? If that's what the case is now, if it's about this TV show, like I said, you know, love and hip hop is, you know, losing some relevance and they, they've moved to MTV. And as a last hurrah, they're doing all these stupid storylines I mean, I just don't think, I don't know how this will go. I, I really don't. I think that Amada, you is, I thought she was a lot smarter than that. But like judging by her last relationship, child, you sat there, had that, had them damn children by that damn man to play your ass. You fought your whole mother over that thing too. I'm, I, I think I, I remember part of that season, like she was, cause the mom didn't really like him. I think 
and she was she was really trying to fight for him, and then they ended up having kids, and he left her. Like, I'm, t- I'm out of you. Better <laughs> you better cover that up. Okay, you better plan B if something because he he is he is too goddamn fertile, child, and he will run like he'll run like crazy if he if you give him a child. Like I said, this is a weird combination, and because I don't really like Erica Mendel like that, but I feel bad, right? Because like nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to, you know, you know, you have a child with somebody, you expect that father to to be there in in the child's life, but that is so crazy. It's it's on brand for love and hip hop though. But tell me what y'all think about it in the comments. <laughs> All right, y'all.